Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for stopping by here. I made a video last fall about all the luggage that I pack on my adventures. Um, there's one more thing that I would like to cover uh, that I'm also using uh, on my longer rides uh, when I do the longer adventures or rides uh, for a few days. Basically I want to talk about this luggage here. It's a Wild Heart uh, from Amazon. It's a waterproof uh, duffel bag and they come in a different sizes uh, that you can get them. These bags are really, really good quality, especially that's my original one that I bought about uh, four years ago now. This is a 55 liters. With the 55 liters, it is slightly on a bigger side, but basically once I have my panniers, whether they're soft panniers or the hard panniers, that thing normally sits right here behind me and one thing that I found about this luggage um, it is extremely durable uh, I had it off-road and uh, in heavy downpours it, it was serving me well for about four years the one thing that I really um, wish I did before that I bought the smaller one so I decided to go for a smaller one this time and uh, I ended up buying a smaller version which is the 40 liter uh, I went this time with the fluorescent yellow however you want to call that color but I will talk a little bit more about the quality of those bags uh, right now so we'll go back to the original one here so they all come with the straps that you can mount it on your uh, oshet bars or handlebars uh, and it stays really nicely secure because it goes through those uh, loops here and you can really tie it up it's it has a really a lot of room inside uh, on this particular bag what i found the, the, uh, on these bags that the gluing uh, quality, the seams are amazing. Nothing is separating after all this time. It's really, really well made. Uh, but now, after I bought the new one, which just arrived last week, uh, I find the quality of this one is not the same. Um, for the, uh, there's few reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, it seems like it's a little bit thinner PVC plastic. It is uh, coated and everything. It is still, it still feels uh, durable, but uh, with the one over here, uh, that bag actually has a dual layer. It also has a bottom with the dual layer. And even inside, there's a layer of uh, different fabric than uh, what you see on top. It doesn't come with any external, uh, internal pockets, but what's nice about this design, that it has a zipper actually. And the other one has a Velcro, right? So this one here has a Velcro. And uh, the only pocket that you find on, on this bag is the one on the back of the bag. So they come in different sizes, uh, 40 liters, 55 liters, 66 liters, and 100 liters. Uh, the 66 and 100, that would be probably uh, way too big uh, if you want it, have it like mounted in the back uh, behind your sitting position. Unless you don't have the uh, hard box, uh, then uh, you can move it a little bit back, but then again, it's gonna be quite wide. So I decided to go with the smaller sizes. So like I said, uh, the quality is good and uh, they are very durable. They do have the vent uh, to release the pressure when you folding it down. And I never had this bag full. So, but basically all you need is just the three folds just to make sure that and there's no water going in and then you clip the both sides like this and uh, it, it becomes a watertight in a most heavy rain condition. Just make sure that valve is clo closed after you uh, drain the, all the air from it uh, when you're mounting it on a bike. So the reason why I carry this bag, now I have to explain that too, uh, because um, this bag usually just 
carries my clothing in it. Clothing, uh, spare shoes, sandals, stuff like that, whatever I need on a campsite. I don't like to do the laundry too often when I'm on the road. Uh, I do it every couple days, uh, so I have a, a plastic bag inside for my dirty socks and underwear and all that stuff uh, that I'll toss in and uh, at the next opportunity I'll do a wash uh, whether it's a river wash or on a campsite somewhere uh, where is where, if I'm not off grid. So this bag here just arrived uh, and this is exactly how it comes it just comes in in a little envelope there's no major pack packaging on that and uh, also they supply all the straps, what you need to attach your bag. Um, I find that the new new one has a little bit better, uh, similar to rock straps, uh, the, the clamping system. Uh, so the other one just has this loops right here, so that loops around the bag and you secure it that way. So I find that the, the strapping system on a new bag is definitely um, upgraded, it is better. It comes also with the strap, the shoulder strap uh, in a bag right here, which I never use basically because the, I'm not walking anywhere far. Just comes out of my motorcycle and it goes back to tent, to the tent. We'll look inside here. So this bag right here doesn't have any pockets on uh, outer sides, uh, front or back. Just has that uh, name tag slot if you want. Again, uh, I, I would like to also state that uh, it's a wild heart and I found those bags on Amazon. Um, like I said, this, this is a little bit thinner um, compound than the black one that I was just showing you, but the, the seams are again very nicely made and they, they seem like in a really really good quality. So I will be taking this bag on, uh, on a trip this year to Idaho BDR. Um, because 55 liter I never had it full, it was uh, just too big. And this one here as you see is uh, sitting a little bit nicer, it doesn't stick out as far. So. It's gonna be just enough for my clothing and uh, possibly uh, small accessories that I'll toss in there. Um, I did mention the reason for this bag is because uh, my upper pannier is uh, always carrying my camera gear, then the left side pannier has my camping gear and the right side pannier all the food and cooking gear. So basically that's how I pack my motorcycle. Um, if you watch my video from last fall, you can see more details on that. Another, a little bit of a downside, I don't know if it's a really big deal breaker, but the new bag does not have the zipper on top like the previous one did. Basically it just has a Velcro and you do your folds like most of the other dry bags that you see on the market. Uh, pretty much uh, that zipper design was uh, quite unique because any even my soft panniers from Bumot they don't have no zippers they just have good just have a velcro and you just fold it down and uh, going inside here it has quite large pocket uh, for little things uh, and that's a pocket with zipper and it is also lined versus this one here has no liner like the other one did. So this one has, uh, I think, two layer or it's uh, just coated with the PVC on the inside. Another thing, uh, another th uh, option what I can think that this is coated on both sides, but it feels thinner than the other uh, fabric or uh, compound what they used uh, on that black bag. Everything you need comes uh, pretty much when you buy those bags uh, so you don't need to make any additional purchases for straps and everything and this bag also has the air release valve so if you are rolling the bag down you can roll it nice and tight and then close the valve and you know your stuff is gonna stay dry that's uh, that's the short review of those uh, wild heart bags and uh, I think uh, it's a great purchase if you don't want to spend a fortune. 
uh, because uh, normally those dry bags they could be quite expensive and this is actually good product uh, and I read the reviews from other people online that uh, under on the Amazon website uh, there was not ma nobody really complained about them everybody saying was saying just the good things uh, about those bags they're saying it's a puncture proof but I I think if you say puncture proof, it's, uh, it has a point. Like if you put something sharp in it, definitely I think it's gonna go through. Uh, I'm not sure what do they mean by puncture proof, uh, because after all, it is uh, like PVC, some kind of a plastic, so you can pretty much cut it with the knife. But I don't carry nothing really, really, really valuable in them. So basically just my clothing. Uh, so I, I don't really care. Uh, I hope that's not gonna happen if somebody is gonna, you know, rob your bike on the road or whatever. And uh, that would be probably the first thing they would go for uh, because it's not closed like uh, your hard panniers or even um, the soft panniers uh, that they can be easily taken out. But uh, most of us uh, probably don't have that bad experience, but uh, it happens once in a while. So the bottom of the bag, the website is still stating it's a dual layer, but to me, when I'm looking at the whole product here, it is definitely not dual layer. Uh, the original bag, the black one, yes, it has two different layers on the bottom, but this one here, it's the same compound right across, and you can see even uh, the way the light goes through. Um, so you, that, that's how I know that it's uh, not dual layer. I think it's a false advertising from the original design uh, because this is the new version, the 2023. The other one, like I said, it's about four years old now. So I think they dropped the ball in quality uh, a little bit, but still a good bang for, you know, they're like, uh, I think they're like 60 Canadian uh, if you want those bags. So they don't cost really a fortune, especially though those smaller sizes. I didn't even look up those bigger ones, but I'll put the links uh, in a video description below. Uh, if you're interested, you can click them. There will be affiliated links, but it will not cost you any more if you want to purchase them. Uh, that will be the same cost uh, what I paid. It's just uh, I get a small commission if you use my link. So there you have it, two bags side by side. As you can see the difference. Not much, because basically it's a 15 liter difference, but smaller is better for me. And uh, I really can recommend and stand behind this product uh, for now after beating on this bag for quite some time. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope it's gonna be helpful for some of you choosing the luggage, uh, the duffel bags for your motorcycle. Great product and uh, doesn't break your bank and uh, they will serve you well, I'm pretty sure. So thank you for watching, and if you like the content here, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.